Hey everybody, what's up? Circus here. I'm joined with Rye today, tonight, this evening, uh, because we're doing a top 10 list because you guys love them. Rye loves them. I love That's them. That's right. Always. Always. And we're going to do card art tonight. So obviously this one's going to be very subjective, very personal, right, Rye? So of course. You guys can get mad as much as you want in the comments, but these are what we yeah. think. We the, think these, are the best. These are the best. And if you don't think so, you are wrong. Fight oh. me in the comments. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> Rise is going in. Okay. Don't actually do that. Yeah, obviously, fight this is him, completely all our opinions. Now I'm just starting out with Cypher Soldier on the screen because I honestly think it's the worst card art in the game. So I don't want to spoil anything by having one of our cards up already. So <laughs> to me, this is the worst card in the game. This looks like a high school yeah, uh, art it's, project. It's pretty bad. Yeah. But we're not here for the worst, although I could we're go through a lot best. of them. We're here for the That's best. Right. The whole Lunalite art type. Hey, what? Huh? The whole Lunalite. Oh, <laughs> man. I can't believe you just did that. I can't uh, believe you just did that. All right. So what's your number five, Rye? My number five, we're going old school, boys. Summoned Skull. Oh, Summoned boy. Skull, really? Listen, a lot of these are going to have memories. And one of my first memories of Yu-Gi-Oh! was uh, very back mm -hmm. in the old, old days when I was like seven, eight years old. Uh, there was a game called Yu-Gi-Oh! Online. <laughs> it was oh, the first online multiplayer Yu-Gi-Oh! game. And they gave you okay. Summon Skull for free. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever because he was my strongest monster at the time. 2,500 yeah. attack. You can't beat that. I mean, that's... I went into PvP. I got absolutely trashed by someone playing Exodia. I was like, <laughs> what is going on? And then I got my account scammed because I was eight years old and someone said you'd give me more summon skulls. So, <laughs> Oh, no. That's the worst, right? I'm just imagining yeah, little like Rye trying to total, play. And, but... uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it's my terrible. first experience on the internet. And um, yeah, never been scammed ever since then. But yeah, you learned, you learned your art. lesson. Yeah, that's the important yeah, thing. I just, I mean, this thing, it looks so classic. It's a classic Yu Gi Oh monster. It's very iconic. Um, in the anime, he had like thunder attacks and stuff. He was always cool in the anime. He's super cool in the real life. And he always invokes that image of, you know, he's kind, he's up there with blue eyes and Gaia and Dark Magician and all those classic cards. They're just, they're super cool. He's got no nose. What happened to his he's nose? Got... <laughs> he's a fiend. He's a arch fiend. He doesn't need no noses down okay. there. All right. All right. So uh, it's a good card. I'll give you that. It's old school, but for the old school art, it's not bad. For the most part, all mine are going to be the modern art because I think a lot of the older art is just. Yeah. Okay. So Classics. number <laughs> Come on. number five for me was gravekeeper's oracle and the reason i like this one so much is when i first started playing dual links it was um kind of you know um gravekeepers were kind of a big deal and i just thought <clears throat> excuse me this was one of the cooler uh card arts that were out at the time and i fell in love with gravekeepers and i just played the deck uh in a very bad form for a very long time because i couldn't <laughs> farm all the cards i didn't have all the good ones and stuff but when i finally got my first gravekeeper's oracle from the card trader i was just like this card is so cool Back when the card trader and gravekeepers is actually considered a hard deck to get, it wasn't expensive. It was just super hard. A lot of farming. Uh, a lot of a farming. lot of farming, and the card trader was super expensive back then. The materials were not as easy to come by. That's when gold meant something. Like getting enough gold yeah. to get three of these things. Oh my god. Oh, if someone had three oracle, it was GG. They were gonna crush you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I hope you have econs. Because back then, you know, the, the other card arts, most of them look like summon skull or. Uh, what was like the Rex, the Rex deck, all the dinosaurs oh, the, and the stuff, dinosaurs, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. So yeah, I, I thought guy. Gravekeeper's Oracle it was like, it was HD, man. Look at that. That's a high def <laughs> car. <laughs> He's the new age. Yeah. So that, that's, that's my number five. There you go. What's your number four? My number four, I'm going to fuse my summon skull and I'm going to make the black skull dragon. Let's go. Another oh, classic. Okay. I'll have to look that one up. I, I don't know if I know this one. <laughs> I'm going to have to cl well, click on a few cards here. Yeah, so Black Skull Dragon. Uh, this is another one of those. This is your favorite? Oh, my That's God. That's one of my It's so good. Look at it. It's so This classic. would be on my worst list. 
No, this is amazing. What do you mean? <laughs> it was in the episode. Yugi and Joey fused their monsters together okay. and they made the Black Skull Dragon. Up until this point, the strongest monster we saw was the Blue Eyes. This guy comes out 3,200. Oh, you oh, can't beat that. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can't He's beat too that. strong. <laughs> and then, like, two episodes later, Blue Eyes Ultimate came out, so we're not even going to worry. <laughs> oh, so he got power crept almost immediately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't know. He just looks super cool. I like him. Yeah, I mean, I guess for that old school card art, it's not bad. I just, uh, I'm just yeah. so glad things have progressed. How how long has the game been out now? I mean, it's been out for what 20, 20, 40, 50 oh, years. Oh but... yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> no, been... If you if you want to go all the way back to Yu Gi Oh when it was like the manga, that was that was forever ago. Yeah, just the art has changed so much, and uh, I I am a modern kind of guy, I guess. So, there you all go. right, my number four, my number four. Uh, if you watch the stream, this is no surprise, or if you've seen one of my videos, uh, Performa Pal Donkey. That Performa Pal Donkey. I love the Performa Pal uh, archetype or whatever. Um, so just in general, uh, I some of these that I'm picking, I picked because I like the um, the archetype uh, in general. So that's why I picked Performa Pal Donkey because I like the whole archetype. I think they're all just adorable. And turns out perform a pal is one word. There we go. Perform a pal don friend donkey. I, I got it wrong. I, people Even are already better. in the chat killing me. Perform a pal <laughs> friend donkey. Just look at him. He's so happy. His smile. He so happy. He's got the little Everyone hat on. Pal is super happy. Yeah, man. Well, I know they all have hats, but his looks good because it has like a little bow tie on it. <laughs> he looks like maybe he's a little high. I don't know. If you look at him, he's just got he's like. definitely. He's on something. <laughs> yeah, man. Performa pal friend donkey. That's where the happy comes from. Yeah, I love I love the performa pals. They're great. Oh god! All right, what's your number three? My number three relinquished. This is Ooh. kind of like the next wave of support Yu Gi Oh got when rituals uh, started coming in, and this guy. Like he's just menacing, you know, like you see the card art, he's super creepy. You see the star level, it's level one. Mm -hmm. You're like, what? What is going on? Zero attack. You 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 saw this and immediately were like, all right, something's up. Yeah. <laughs> Something is up. What is going on? And, you know, back back in the day, yeah. um, being able to just steal an opponent's monster every turn was insane. Like everyone was like, what is going on? This is way too strong of a card to exist. That was a hard um, card yeah. to beat back in the day. You had it to was, kill him like and, twice, basically. Because if you yeah, only hit and, him and, once, he was just going to steal your monster again. And people were playing like the interdimensional matter transporter to protect him and all this stuff. And yep. it was just crazy. And even if like they couldn't kill you, they would tie you or, you know, like it's kind of with Evil Eye, you keep swinging into people. It was just, yeah, it was crazy back in the day. And then in real life, you know, I had this card. Um, I remember it was my first holographic card actually that I ever had. I uh, got it out of the Pegasus starting deck, I think it was. Oh, so I saw him and I was like, oh God, this guy's so cool. Mm -hmm. So just another classic, classic, classic card. But I guess not as classic, but a little bit more modernized. See, I always thought like the thing coming out the front was his was his face, but it's not. That's just like an eye, right? It's, yeah, it's just his eye. His head yeah, is like this little thing on top. Yeah, that's his head. Then he's got the mouth. That's the big circle. That's his abdomen and everything. Um, and then, of course, and then his fusion version, the the one where he fuses with the illusionist, that one where he gets super creepy. You're just like, oh, geez, what is going on here? <laughs> Millennium Eyes Restrict. Yeah, some of these cards Millennium are just... Eyes, for, uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict? Thousand Eyes Restrict, yeah. Just the, how they thought of the card art for some of these just boggles my mind. Yeah. Like, how do you sit down in front of your, your, at your drawing table and you're like, I'm going to make Relinquish, and it ends up looking like this? Well, I think also the because of the Millennium Eye, right? The Millennium Item. So then it became Relinquish's like eye. Oh, is so that, that the thing out front? Up. Okay, that's the yeah. That, okay, that's like okay. what's supposed to be. It's like the real life, uh, or not the real life, but the anime world eye versus the, you know, the eyeball. Uh, okay, the card, I so. got you. It was just super cool, and obviously this was after like yeah, the first wave of Yu Gi Oh. So a lot of people, the, the artists, kind of started to know what really worked and what didn't work. So you know, like you know really cool monsters and cute anime girls those are the two things that work what, what else know? do you want right <laughs> yeah yeah everything else get out of here yeah you don't need it all right now i'm gonna go with one that's that's fairly new and again i'm doing an archetype specific one because or uh just the archetype in general i really liked um the card art of the windups the ones that just came out not too long ago oh, yeah. and i put wind up shark on there because i i, I like shark decks i like water decks and 
I just think it's a cool looking card. I just love the colors. I like the the explosion in the background or whatever. And shoot a Stark type. Let's go. Yeah, I just I I just like the card. I just think it's a it's a swell looking card. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a good, clean, modern looking card, and that's what I like about it. I like I a agree. lot of I... the new artwork. I think it's great. I think the shark is probably the best looking one too out of all of them. Like the rabbit one doesn't look that great, but then you look at the shark and you're like, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think his tail are those rockets. Is he like a rocket shark too? I've yeah, never he's seen like... the show. <laughs> does, does he does he like swim really fast or is is that the deal? I I don't know. He's probably. Uh, have you maybe seen he the... maybe he's a torpedo himself? You know. Maybe. I mean, have you seen the show? I have not. I know. I have okay. no idea what they're already in the in the comments. Go surface. <laughs> Uh, I like it. I like wind up. So there you go. All right. What's your number two? My number two, uh, not a classic noble knight Madrat. Now, if, if you're a fan of Rye, you know that it is oh, a classic. Oh my God. It is a classic. <laughs> yeah, it's a classic for me. Yeah. Um, obviously the noble knights, they're based on, um, uh, uh, law or not law, uh, uh, stories. Um, you know, you've got King Arthur, Artorgus, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Madrat being Mordred is super cool because, you know, it was all, you know, like betraying the Brotherhood and all that. So it's kind of cool. You look at the card art, really reflects that. You've got the evil shadow kind yeah. of behind him. I just um, noticed that for the first time just now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's easy. You know, he's like a light you know, monster. Nobody plays then, these cards. So, yeah. Well, you know, that's... Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's like a light monster. And then you read his effect. When he's equipped, becomes a dark monster. So there's like that deeper oh, thing going nice. on as well. So it's like... That's kind of cool. Yeah, just super, super cool. Um, you know, even just look, looking at him normally, he's just a super cool looking card. Uh, and but his levels like increased by one, so he, like he goes dark and he and gets stronger. <laughs> I'm stronger. It'd be cool. So yeah, super, Does his attack neat. go up or anything? No, that'd be really cool. Then he'd be pumping up. But, no, uh, but he can summon people out of the deck. Oh, so it's like he's him. raising the dead or something. That'd be cool <laughs> if it was the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, he just comes out like whoop. Um, but yeah, I just like how this this card, like you know, and this is like a lot of modern cards. They start to tell a story. Um, this is just retelling, you know, King Arthur and all that. Uh, but they're Yu Gi Oh cards, so I thought that was always super cool how that was reflected in the card. Yeah, I like the cards that have lore behind them, even yeah. though it's sometimes just silly lore. But like <laughs> uh, okay, my number two is just straight up because I think it looks good. Um, and that's gonna be the Magician of Chaos. I got that uh structure deck, and I was just like, this is just a badass looking card, <laughs> that's all there is to it. Um, yeah, pretty much. I like how it's it's a ritual card, right? And then so it's blue to begin with, and then the all the colors are like dark blues and purples, and then it's got the highlights of the yellows and the red. And I don't know. He's not even he's not even that bad of a card if we just had like better ritual support. He he'd be like vine to play. Well, getting um, pop cards every time, whatever. Yeah. Time, a spell or two. Yeah, especially yeah, especially like yeah. at the activation of the card before your opponent can do anything, you get to pop. It's just like constant bad aim. It's not a bad effect. Yeah, I just I just love the artwork of the card. So yeah, that's my number two because it's pretty. <laughs> All right, now, do you have any uh, honorable mentions? Or are you just ready to go into number one? Uh, shout out to all the noble knights. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you know all the I think all the OG uh cards, OG blue eyes, OG dark magician, all those. Obviously, those cards are super super amazing. Um, I wouldn't say any of them are my personal favorites, but you know, they definitely, when I see them, it, it, it just makes me think of Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. So, and your number one is Horus, the black flame dragon level eight. Ooh, what am I? That is, yeah, a very long name. <laughs> um, yeah. When this card, I, I had this card in real life before I had it in Duel Links. And it was the first time I saw a card where like the stars were holographic and the 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 flames are holographic. And even just looking at him now, it's like and when you, when you actually rank up all the horses, it's super cool to see like the ring in the back constantly changing. And oh yeah, I got him here. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I see that purple flames coming out. He's just I always like dragons, and he's just a super cool dragon. Um, so I yeah. swear there was like a month where this deck was kind of relevant, right? Kind of when it first came out, it you know it wasn't like, like slightly. 
it wasn't not, meta, not meta but relevant you know what I yeah mean? Like, relevant. but like you know if you're able to just completely say no to spell cards back in the day spell cards were extremely powerful like econ you know, oh my god shutting down econ, econ super rush um you know all those cards that were really good yeah, and we didn't have like the only toxic back row we had was like canadia and that was like it yeah <laughs> but it was really so, hard to get out right because you had to get out wasn't there a shortcut yeah. to get get the six out or no so you this the the six you can just tribute summon uh so you could use the mausoleums effect to That's just turbo him out yeah uh you, there's also the card level up which if you just have it you just level up your your guy because no uh, one went of... like four six eight right i mean it was like you went right into six if you could and then into eight yeah if you could go into six and then yeah and then and then you still play the level four and then you play like mirror wall and stuff to try and get him like cheese kills and then you'd rank up immediately because right away the level six is unaffected by spells and stuff so you know oh, you, okay. could, you could start okay. doing some plays with him and he had like 2300 bodies so it wasn't like the worst and then as soon as level eight come at, came out back then it was like gg because it's like well all your spells are dead yeah your okay. traps you have to wait a turn to you so i'm gonna summon sergeant electro or mirage dragon to turn those off <laughs> well, I, so what are you gonna do what's weird is i think there were so many different little eras of Yu-Gi-Oh uh in the tcg that they only released in pieces in Duel Links. Like yeah. there was obviously like a whole level up meta that just never happened. Like yeah, you see all these monsters come happened. through and it's like, here's the leveling dragons and here's the leveling magician. Yeah. And in a way, this is kind of like the 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 precursor to what synchro ended up being, right? You synchro, then you synchro climb, right? right. Like with your new and stuff. Uh, but you know, without having to do like you know like because like when you opened up like a bunch of level ups and then your only monster was the level six you're just like oh, what do i do <laughs> i right. can't do anything i can't summon my level six if i could i would immediately win the game but i can't right it just feel like uh there was like different metas in the tcg that we just never had in dual links it was just released in yeah. pieces like tokens that yeah, had to token. have been a meta or something at some time at some point but we always just got like a token card here a token card yeah. there uh, or counters on cards all the time. It's like it seems like this was really popular at one time. It's just yeah. it, it just never worked. It never in worked out, no. Yeah. So I guess my obviously my shout out. It's got to be um, to Axe Raider, right? Oh, the classic, right? I mean, <laughs> look was, at that. Look at the abs, dude. Abs of steel. Um, this was my first. You are. <laughs> it was it was actually like we always meme about it but it was actually a ur you wanted to get like oh back then was this was good. huge yeah it was good like it, it had good attack good defense you were good you were solid if you had this card you, you know it wasn't until like jerry beans man came out under the woodworks and started right just destroyed you, everything yeah. by, like 50 more attack but back in the day that like having three of this you would just beat down anybody in your opponent besides you know like uh rex raptor users that just cheated with their field spell right well see you just be when, spelling, dude easy when you start a new account you get that free pack that they make you buy and i <laughs> yeah, opened yeah. it and i got axe raider oh I, my god I, I, when i first started playing i didn't realize what power i had in my hands yeah. you know all right my number one is because i guess it's a waifu for me but i love the card art chaos goddess I love that. Chaos game. Goddess. I just like the, I, uh, I want to see somebody actually get like that effect off. I never see I made a meme deck for summon. it once, but it's very convoluted. It's very yeah. convoluted to get her summoned <laughs> out. But again, I just like the card art. I like how they use the, the black and white and then the gray. And then they ha they highlight her dress with the, the yellow and the red. I like that. I think it really makes it pop. So <laughs> and, and like the skulls everywhere on it and stuff. I no, it's a really cool card. Well, the first time I saw it, I think it was in the card trader, and I was like, whoa, what is this? And then I read the effect, and I was like, that's not bad. And then I saw the summoning condition, and I was like, oh, that's not right. <laughs> that's not going to happen ever. No, I made it with some kind of light tuners, and then I was doing it with grave keepers, and you could summon her out, and then you could somehow bring back your, your grave keeper boss monsters and stuff. It but it was very convoluted. It, it was a very slow deck, and you could pull it off yeah. like one out of 20 times. <laughs> it's just not a good, uh, not an easy card to summon in this game. There you but, go. All right. So that's our top five plus five, which equals 10. So you can't get mad. Um, I hope you enjoyed the list. Make sure to put your at least top five. You don't have to put 10. If you want to put 10, I'd love it. If you want to put five, that's fine. 
Uh, let us. We're know. not asking for a despot jet. We're just asking for an arm eighties here. Oh wow! Get it? A ten and a five. Ten and five. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. And on that note, we're going to get out of here. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>